CPS and UL sees uh, component failures quite often and can probably know that there's a problem with that Motorola microprocessor, um, maybe even long before it gets, gets to, to UL. So my question is, you know, you certainly talk about that, of course, but my question is more about you know, the, the new edition of the, the 60601 standard. I, I've worked with a lot of companies who, first time going through this, that, uh, the, you know, that's always a painful experience <laughs> to go through, right? And, and the big change, I think, that a lot of industry has felt on the 60601 standard is suddenly now I'm required to do risk management, or at least that's the perception. And it feels like, you know, when UL has requested, oh, provide me your procedures, your policies, your documentation, like there's some confusion about that. So I, I wondered if you could speak a little bit about that. Yeah, sure. Actually, that happened uh, a few years back, you know, when we really had the, the big first uh, third edition uh, kind of plunge. And, and lucky me, I was the uh, program manager that was responsible for setting up uh, policies, procedures, and practices for how we were going to go about assessing uh, the third edition and risk management. And um, one of my biggest concerns was consistency. You know, and making sure that, you know, if, if we had a client that walked in the door in our office in Taiwan, they got the same opinion as the person that walked into our office in Melville, New York, as in Frankfurt, Germany. So um, what we did, you know, and, and I think this really relates to the 1345 and the 9,000 wonders that there's a much greater emphasis uh, on uh, the competence and being able to demonstrate the competence to perform the activities that are required. And, and I, certainly I was very concerned about that with the third edition. And I'm, I'm now actually kind of on the education side of the, the house. And so, so this is a little bit self-serving. Uh, but um, when I took on that responsibility for the third edition, I knew that there was you know, quite a bit of potential for, for those inconsistent inter interpretations. And, and we've got a lot of competitors out there, and I was very concerned that our competitors are trying to use that as, as a mechanism to, uh, uh, to gain more business. So what we did is I, I kind of knew, and, and I had solicited uh, people uh, as far as the uh, various uh, inputs that I could obtain as far as what were the con confusing areas of 14971. And so based on that, then I set up a survey, you know, and I did a test, and I actually sent the test around the globe, you know, to all of our staff, and surveyed them, and actually got results back, you know, and I won't completely share what, how those went. Um, <coughs> But you know, we identified the areas. So you, you kind of did your own human factors. Uh, <laughs> well, I did. Sort of. Well, actually, it's it's a kind of a six sigma thing. I had yeah. agreement analysis. You know, so I went ahead and I did my baseline. I got my baseline. Uh, after I found out what the trouble spots were, I developed a set of training. I went around the globe, trained everybody on staff. I actually offered that to externally as well. So I've done some external training, you know, quite a bit of external training now as well. Um, and then allowed for the, you know, it took me about three months, you know, just to, to certainly navigate the, the globe and train everybody. And then once that was completed, I waited a month, you know, for, for decay, human factors decay. And then I uh, went out and I, I re examined. And I got a statistically significant improvement, you know, in, in uh, you know, down Six Sigma, that was, you know, part of my certification. But anyway, uh, so. You know, and, and I think that you know, as we go forward and we get into you know this new version of 1345, that that's going to be the sort of activity that's going to be expected. You know, so certainly there's a third edition aspect. You know, but you can get into any other aspect. You know, like if you get into production, for example. You know, um, you know, are the people qualified to actually perform the activities that they're that they're doing? You know, so I, I think that you know, and, and we're prepared. We're gearing up for that. I mean, yeah. that's, that's a big part of my, my current responsibilities right now is is uh, you know setting up a program to really to, to demonstrate that. So that's that's kind of what we're doing with respect. Yeah.